welcome back team to another video if you are new to the channel welcome please hit that like button and also subscribe it means a lot I'm trying to get to 1000 subscribers by the end of the year so yeah we're going to look at my gym training in this video the last couple of videos i've done a running video um if you are new then i'm doing a high rocks at the start of next year 2024 the weekend after i've probably got a crossfit competition still waiting for that I need to qualify for that and also looking to do a bigger endurance event where that bike will come into it later on or middle of the year hopefully if all goes to plan but <clears throat> let's get into this training video so basically i'm just going to do some talking behind the video hopefully so just show you a couple of clips of the training and what's happening in the training session so yeah first session um, or first part of the session was strict press just trying to build my strength back up in my shoulders i feel weak overhead at the moment so just building that up that was every minute on the minute for 10 minutes first two sets was three reps next three sets was two reps and the last five sets was uh all that all singles so basically built up in weight a couple of years ago, used to be able to do 1995 for a single. As you can see in this video, I think I'm doing 60, maybe 60 on max, probably on my heaviest in this lift. So, just shows how far my shoulders have uh, gone down. But, um, like I said, just chucking this in to get my shoulder strength back up. And after that, went into some snatches. So again, just slowly building that volume and that consistency of lifts back into my training. So every 90 seconds for three sets, two power snatches, one squat snatch. And then every 90 seconds for three sets, one power snatch, two squat snatches. Every 90 seconds, three sets, three uh squat snatches so with the weights i went 80 85 90 again my best snatch is 110 my lifetime best is 127 so i hit 110 um two weeks ago so not too far away so i'm just slowly building on that again again just building consistency again back into the gym and lifting some weight and then from there went into some conditioning piece this will carry over to both high rocks and crossfit um so it was every two minutes for 10 sets 10 calorie ski erg three pull-ups it should be one rope climb um but we haven't got a rope in the gym so or the gym i'm using at the moment so basically change that out for pull-ups and then 10 thrusters. So a breakdown of this workout was pretty much uh, ski erg. Again, that carries over both to high rocks and CrossFit. You'll see cross, um, ski erg in CrossFit competitions, workouts, etc. And then also it's one of the stations in high rocks. Pull-ups, um, again, just building volume in pull-ups. Like I said, I subbed that out for a rope climb. It normally takes me three shifts to get to the top of the rope. That's why I done three pull-ups. Um, and yeah, it just helps with that pulling strength. And also it, it will carry over to my other pulling movements. So like muscle-ups, sled pulls, stuff like that. And then thrusters. So again, 10 thrusters. I used 40 kilograms. Again, that carries over to both um, sporting events. So CrossFit, thrusters is a big one within CrossFit. And then also wall balls is in um, high rocks right at the end. So thrusters was a carryover to the wall balls. 
Um, I think I was doing it in about 90 seconds a round. So I was, it was basically 90 seconds work, 30 seconds rest, 10 times. It got pretty cheeky, especially five sets in. Um, yeah, I got, I got half when I was like, oh, this is going to suck. Um, but finished it off. And then that was it pretty much for that session. So that was it for that train session. Hope you enjoyed that. Just a small snippet into the gym session. If you have any comments, chuck it below. Also, if you think the audio is a lot better in this video, please put that in the comments because I am using a new mic. Before, I was just using the camera mic. I've bought a external mic. So if that uh, the audio is a lot better, please put that in the comments and then I'll start using this more often in more videos. But a look forward. Um, if you are on this channel to see my investments, then my next video is on my August portfolio update. So thanks for watching. Hit that like button if you haven't already. Also subscribe, help me get to 1000 subscribers and I'll see you in the next video.